Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Safari Live pre-drive drive. Where's myself and VM taking you out on a live safari? But of course, this is just the pre-drive drive. Just five minutes of normally silliness, but I think we'll be calm and sensible today. We'll try that out for a change. And we are going to go and search for lions. Byron is getting ready. He's in the other car with Jean-Dre. And hopefully, once the sun wakes up, Steph will be joining us out on a bushwalk. But that will be a little bit later. Viam, are you excited for the time change? <laughs> Viam says he's yes because he can get some sleep and I get half an hour extra sleep. No more waking up before five o'clock. It's going to be wonderful, isn't it? I'm also quite excited. I'm just glad we're not doing the early, early starts anymore. Can you imagine doing the early starts now in complete darkness? We could do like what, an hour and a half in the dark before the sun comes up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just incredible how the seasons change over here and it, it affects us out on safari. Because of course, as most of you know, the best time to come or to go out and do a bit of game viewing is just before the sun comes up. So it's normally really nice to get out half an hour or so uh, before first light and then to watch the day all sort of brighten. It's really nice. Find a good spot also gives you a chance to get a good sun sunrise spot. Maybe perch yourself up on a, a hill or a nice open plain. That's always a really, really nice thing to do. One of my favorite things. However, we're going to be racing off to Arethusa to go and search for those lions that we were, we've been seeing over the last few days. So I don't know if we'll be seeing any sunrises from that side. Maybe, you never know. Maybe at the airstrip we'll get lucky. But I did just want to quickly come and check the boundary. Always just checking. We're going to tell access all the way to the gates. And then we'll go back up Triple M. Check a little bit of it before we turn off into Arethusa. You'll be surprised as to how many animals actually cross the boundary every morning and every evening. Elephants, buffalo, impala, leopards, lions. Had lots of hyena activity all the time. So we never know what we may along the way. That's my favorite thing. It's the element of surprise that you experience when you're out here on safari. Nope, just some sleeping impala. Check here. And we'll Particularly the leopards and lions like to get there. Right. And no chameleons this morning. I'm actually surprised because it is indeed nice and cool today. Not nice and cool, it's nice and warm today. There's a thick layer of clouds. Keeping all that hot air trapped. Don't know if we're going to do any chameleon record breaking this morning, maybe this evening. Mm -hmm. Actually, very quiet. <clears throat> Normally when we drive outside the lodge we see lion or leopard tracks. We didn't see any of those this morning. Rebecca's very quiet today. Rebecca's directing. She hasn't said much at all. This program features...